all right going live what's up everyone we're back in core they have an update now with some vehicle stuff so i want to be able to check that out today on here uh so let me just go ahead and tweet out that i am live so we are ready there get everything set up and ready to go and yeah we're back here into core Ooh, we could go into the hot tub world later uh do a little hot tub action there uh what's my stuff that i have here okay yeah we have hot tub world uh i guess that's the the hot thing right now <laughs> hot tubs are one thing um but yeah they have a whole bunch of vehicle things so we're gonna go look up some if there's any racing stuff music mayhem oh look there's a like a guitar hero style thing that's cool uh which we're gonna look up some racing things and we're gonna see about the new vehicles and see if anyone has implemented them i believe some people have but you know let's just play it safe here on that i need to also customize my character because um i have some stuff here that i could customize but i haven't done it yet oh look at this guy right here that's a neat looking fella and look at this that's cool looking i like that there's so many different options and how about we just go ahead and edit this and see now they have a little color picker picker thing here you can actually customize your colors uh the different things the tons of different primary tertiary stuff like that on there too which i don't know should we go should we go kind of lightish blue there um Unnecessarily sure on that one. That's that one. Okay, this is that one. But we go to lighter blue there. And how about we go into. Let's go into a almost a purple color right there. All right. I promise we'll go ahead and get into this. Oh, okay. You have presets too. That makes it a little easier. Uh, let's go there uh light blue for the glowing and then we have a a little bit of a purple there you know what i'm gonna go ahead and keep this a uh, little more on the blue side there okay now let's do the pants um let's do a dark blue here change the brightness of that okay a little more into the blue here like that and this here let's get into the purple perfect now backpack this is a very strange backpack i don't know if i want this big of one um there's that there's that i think i like this one it's a fairly small backpack i like it um so let's go into the blue colors here uh don't make it so bright and this one have into the purple there. Yay, there we go. I like this character. Save. Uh, let's replace that guy. Perfect. We're done. Yay. Okay. Now let's go ahead and go into play. Let's look up some vehicle stuff. Uh, um, race. Let's see if there's race and let's see if the, anyone has some new updated stuff uh, on here with the new vehicles. If not, there's got to be some new vehicle things, some new racing stuff. Uh, let's see here. View all. A lot more racing type of things here. But I don't know how new. Let me see this one. When was this last updated? Can I tell? Updated on the 5th of two. Ooh, that means it will not be there. That Ooh. Um, a big update. When was that updated? On the 2nd. So this one probably has been updated with the new stuff. Let's check it out. Cart Mania. And I want to hop in and, you know, just kind of mess around in the editor uh, with my own things here. So. Mm. Let's get started. Maybe you should have put on a little bit of music while this is uh, loading, at least until in the game that I can meet the music. Cart Mania. Okay, controls. Uh, we'll figure out the controls are on our own time. Shop. Select a cart. Oh my gosh. Amazing. The bad cart. 
That's amazing. Customize. Primary color. Blue. Secondary. Light blue. That's kind of neat. Play. One player is in the queue. That's fine. We'll start. I just want to race. I just want to see what other people have made before I go in and just send to the editor and goof about. Are we going? There we go. Cart Mania. Oh man, this is super relaxing music. I figured uh, we could have a little bit more action here. You know. Uh, a little bit more. A uh, little, uh... One. Hey, you got a little jump there. Oh my gosh, they actually have... Oh, I could get the coins? Do I use the abilities? I didn't, I didn't, I should have probably paid attention. Oh no, wrong button, wrong button. <laughs> okay, this isn't like the normal, the... Like at least it doesn't seem like it uses the cart stuff because the wheels don't turn on there. Like the new, the new uh, things that they have. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it is. I want to try to get something of the new. Um, what if I put tank on there? View all. Tank facility. Deathmatch. Has anyone made anything with this, these type of stuff? There's gotta be stuff. Featured by Manticore. Is there anything in here? For that, no. Um, featured. Is there nothing in here that's, uh... Hot games. Okay, maybe some on here. Gunball. Well, that, that's neat. Hey, Jump Guys, they got another update? Cool. I gotta check that out sometime. Uh... Oh my gosh, the Silent Hill Demo 2. Wow, 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 wow. The thing that I wish is there, there's a way to favorite something. You know, like not just, not just, uh, you know, like it, but to like favorite it for later, later or something like that. Okay. Explore amazing worlds. That's cool. Um, I go to Manticore Games and then go over there to theirs. Bucks, here we go, here we go, Bugmaster. Oh my gosh, thank you. Let's just play this one. This uses the new thing. This is Bug Monsters uh, Racing Template, which I need to probably download and use. <laughs> you know, that stuff on here. Go kart, go kart, go kart, go kart. Okay. <sighs> Top speed 50,000 acceleration, 10 braking. Is it all the same? I want this one. Already selected go kart. There we go. Yeah, this uses the new stuff here. Oh my gosh, it, this uh, it doesn't it, it drifts a little bit here. <laughs> There's a little bit of a drift there. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, here we are. 
I wonder if I wonder if someone can make it to where quarter pipes will actually work like quarter pipes, you know? Like you go up and you don't level out, you know, you still stay vertical on there. It would be interesting to know if someone probably could. Here we go. This is what I'm here for. <laughs> A race has ended. Nice. Let's go. Bring it. Where's the uh, settings? The volume, volume, audio. Is it all up to 100? Okay. Resume. Oh, let me uh, like this one so I have it remembered. Jeez. So physical. Everyone is just so physical in this game. No reason to be like that. Oh boy. Go. Oh yeah. Full speed. Full speed. It's a sprint. It's a sprint. First place. My job here is done. Formula race, full sprint, completed. Now we're moving, oh, don't look at my butt, everyone. Ooh, which one? Ooh, let's do this one. It's like that one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a big truck. I wish the view was a little wider. How do I change the view? How do I change it? Like, I, oh no! Go. Well, this is gonna be a little unfair. You got Formula One cars versus trucks. This is a this is a tad bit unfair. And the truck has a terrible. The view needs to be farther back. I don't know if you can change the view. I like the truck model though. Yeah, this is a little unfair with the uh with the uh Formula 1 car. <laughs> uh but you know, hey, we just got to we got to make do. We got to make do. Wow, they already finished that Formula 1 car. Yeah, it's a little bit unfair racing against a Formula One. But hey. I, I want to make my own race deal, which, which I need to use this template here. Uh, Bug Monster template. I would just have this truck's viewport just farther back. Because uh, it's too close to me. Like, at least personally what I think. It's a, it's a little bit too close. On here. Needs to be a little bit farther back. Okay, so now it's making us choose all the same. Which honestly, 40, 15. Honestly, it should just do that. All right, so we'll race this one more time. Then we're going to go ahead and go into the editor and check it out. You know, how do you uh, change? Oh, whoop, wrong button. Um, tab scoreboard. I don't know how to change the view on uh, these trucks. I don't know if you can push a button, change a view. Oh man, this one's got to jump. Go. Here we go. Full speed. 
Oh, nice jump there. Nice jump. Here we are. Exciting race. I, I am excited that they added these vehicles because that's one of the things I kept on suggesting to uh, developers. Oh, that made me go all wacky. Um, is that, you know, for people like me, I'm not able to code um, like vehicles or anything like that. So being able to have vehicles that, you know, are just already there and it's a lot easier for people that aren't too bright like me. Uh, you know, just to be able to make something because I would love to be able to make you know some race stuff but i just i can't make the vehicles i can't do the vehicle system and i don't have anyone i don't have any friends that are uh you know that have the time to be able to do that i do have a couple friends that are good coders in this but you know they're they're doing their own thing they're really busy doing all their own stuff you know so i don't necessarily they don't necessarily have the time to be able to help out which makes sense <laughs> uh. all right that was pretty cool that was pretty cool um i'm gonna go ahead and back out of this okay so let's go ahead i wonder if buck monster did he did the hot tub which prop hunt okay so no no manticore things there. Let me see if there's another another thing here. Tycoon Farmer. What is this one? Three, two, one. Go. I'm not racing. I'm just seeing if there's anything for here. Where's the tank thing? Are they not have they not come out with the tank thing, Manticore? Have y'all not come out with the tank thing? You gotta come out with that already. I want to play it. What is this one? Chickens, goats, and more tycoon farmers. I'm so confused by this. Let's play it. I know this isn't, but I want to play it so that way I can see if I like it so I can click the like button. This is why I wish they just had like a save for later button. Like, you know, it's just something you can add to a list. Uh, that's something that I want to see next on there. Just to be able to add to a list before you play so you don't have to like it or dislike it or something like that. Like you have a favorites area that you don't need necessarily to play. You can just add it to the list. So that way, whenever you do hop on to play core, you know, you're able to actually you know, just hop onto that list that you made and buy it, you know, and not buy it and actually like play all this type of stuff. So just in case you are on the computer, on your PC, you see something cool, you go, you click the link on PC and then you could just add it. And then next time you're actually playing core, you could just sit there and play it. So that's something that I would love to be able to see. So, waiting for the server load to gain. This must be a large game because uh, it's taking a little bit of time here. Uh, huh? Yeah, so, I uh, hope everyone's doing good uh, on there. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. How's everyone doing? All doing good? Excellent. Excellent. This is exciting times. Ha! Oh, 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 it's all loading. It's all loading. Why am I just like a little... My character... Is my character not loaded in yet? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say, all I saw was my backpack. Eh? My character hasn't loaded yet. Uh, welcome, new farmer. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, cool. Uh, oh my God, a gift. Your first chicken. I know. She is old. I could, she can still make eggs. You do that. Can you do that? Follow the paw uh, footprints on the ground. Um, cool. Hmm. I feel like I'm not in line for my farmer look here. I feel like this is more of a farmer look. I need to make a farmer look. You know, so we have it. What in the world is that bird doing? That's weird. That's really weird. Bird, what are you doing? Sell your stock. Sell your stock. Okay. 
Sell your... Okay. I'm really lost what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, follow the footprints. Like, I'm guessing I'm supposed to get 10, but what do I do? What do I... Okay, I had to walk up. I didn't know I had any on me. Where does it say, though, that I have stuff on me? Oh, it counts up over there. Oh, I would personally like the to count up actually on my screen so I can see exactly, you know, what it is and rather than it count up over here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is a vehicle deal. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one a like. I, I want to see them play that one later on um, on here. But I want to try to get more vehicle stuff. Is there no vehicle things that are like that so let me see if there, there's any more vehicle stuff if not you know that'll be it for right now let's let's go we can check out the vehicles and our own things uh bug Mars racing template this is one that yeah we definitely have to check out that racing template there let's go to create Let's hop in and create some stuff. Hero's Journey, I just completely stopped worrying about updating Hero's Journey because of the fact that I I don't know how to code anything. You know, like I can't, I can only go so far. Um, this is Halo Infinite. <laughs> I was just starting to mess with stuff there. Okay, uh, create, what if we, a new project, my project perks program, perks program, cool. Uh, resources, new project um, from a community project. How about we do that? And kind of newest um, go kart experimental Buck Monster. Seeing if uh, Buck Monster's thing will show up on here. Uh oh. Oh, is did he not make it a? Did Bug Monster not make it a actual like uh, project that you could start off as? Okay, I wasn't sure about that, but oh well. Uh, frameworks racing third person racing awesome. They have that on there. Good, good, good. That's new. Racing. Let's start there. Um, uh, let's just call this one racing. We're going real original here. Real original. Uh, yes, I wanted to allow access. Oh! Oh! This is the... Uh, oh! Okay, okay. So, nice. Each one of the races are around over here. Interesting. Okay, so race kill zone. I'm curious where's the race kill zone off of? Like is this just like a bottom? I can't even see it. I don't know how far out it goes might just be at the bottom i have no idea okay interesting interesting lobby area race kill zone play area this is so in the lobby areas default floor i wonder how much you can put into these racing stuff without it getting too crazy you know like that's one thing i'm worried about like how, how much
track one, track two, track three, track four. Our track four is just that race. That's track three. Okay. So that's the go kart one. This one is. Yeah, the city one with the, the trucks and kind of lets you do multiple different types of things. Here's the truck one. Okay. Uh, this one is track two. Let's go, let's go just check out this different types of stuff here. You know, I'm going to have to look up some things on this, on how to do all this type of stuff, like how to change. Um, race start position. So these are each one of the start positions over here. Uh huh. That is a lot of start positions. So each one, yeah, just going through each thing. Okay, cool. Start positions. Not gonna mess with that really. Waypoints. I uh, wonder what the waypoint necessarily is for, because I could have sworn I didn't really have. A waypoint. Did I? Whenever I did this? Did I? I guess the, are the waypoints technically like checkpoints? I don't know. Or I have no idea on this. Okay. Uh, let's actually real quick. Let's pop a Spotify real quick so we can have something installing Spotify. Oh my gosh. There must've been an update. Gotta be kidding me. We'll let that go. There we go. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Trying to figure out all this type of stuff uh, here with the waypoints. We got vehicles here. Vehicle reference. Oh, oh my gosh. How do I go faster? Is there any way like I could zip super quick? I, I don't know. I don't know the... Uh... I don't know vehicle reference. What is it? Go over there. Hmm. I don't know where the vehicle reference is. What are these? Road edge lanes. These are slants, base pieces, geo. Corner, straight. Racetrack dirt. That looks pretty good. That's of course if you want to do it like that. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. I want to know how to go through different things. I believe um, Aphram has made a uh, tutorial on all this type of stuff that I'm going to have to look on to. Because the thing is, even though track name, track four, vehicles, vehicles, laps one, round time 300, starting positions. Default vehicle formula race. Okay, so there's the default vehicle formula race on there. Um, like, so if you go to track three here and I go to track settings, it should say go kart for track three. Yeah, is the default vehicle. Okay, good. 
and track two settings pickup truck default uh what about track one settings because track one could do anything sports car it was able to do anything with that one um okay Uh, it has a lapse. It has everything on here that makes it just so much easier. This is really cool. So I'm really going to have to like look into this off of making a track and everything. Um, especially the vehicle, just physics of everything. Okay, so we're going to come back to this because this is perfect for the racing stuff. How it has all the lobby things and stuff like that because it's definitely game set round tracks manager see this is the type of stuff I like looking through even though I can't really understand a lot of it but still racetrack vehicle spawner tracker countdown because the thing is with a lot of this type stuff this can also be used for non vehicle like i want to i want to use a lot of this like this race lap timer for even just like parkour stuff you know like just being able to have parkour here uh like all this type of stuff race player checkpoint you know things like all this type of stuff is what i wanted for parkour things like checkpoints you know like a, a race start countdown timer you know just different things like that so you might be able to convert a lot of this type of stuff just not having it have a vehicle just you know having it have that i don't know my whole thing is i think this is going to be good okay so we're going to go ahead i'm just going to hit save and then back to main menu here um, I'm just gonna go into uh, we'll go into here even though this isn't something we're gonna be doing but still this is whenever I was building a blood gulch type of map delete that military vehicle here okay let's see I haven't done this in a long time um I wonder just go ahead and delete that on there and of course my internet is dropping <sighs> it's terrible like it's it's really annoying whenever you have this bad of stuff. It shouldn't be dropping like this. It shouldn't. All right. It's just one of those things. It's just annoying. I guess I'll just lower the bit rate. Okay. Uh, game objects, game cars, gameplay objects. See, I don't know uh, vehicles. Here's the different vehicle stuff. I wonder if anyone has made anything like. 
Like I, anyone made a warthog or anything like that? Nope. What if I just type in Halo? Uh, we got some some janky stuff. Some stuff like was really good on there. Okay. Look, we got tanks in here. Let's go ahead and drop a tank. Basic car, we got a sedan. Okay. Advanced tank. Here we go. Let's go ahead and play it. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot I went in first person. Why am I in first person here? Uh, my first person camera is a little wonky. I forgot I went into first person here. Uh, with certain stuff. I need to change my first person's. And yeah, let's. Let's keep looking. All right. How do I change my first person camera settings? I forget how to do this. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I messed with all this type of stuff. Okay, here we go. Field of view, 100. Field of view... We'll just go 90. Um, I'm going to use the camera socket instead of a... What if I do that? How about I just do that right there? All right, we did it. Look at this go. What if that socket is new? I don't know. Maybe it is. Cause I don't remember that. Oh geez. I gotta really look down for that thing. Man, that does not go that far. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> I got stuck inside there. <laughs> uh, little janky going up these hills at speed. Pretty good though, honestly. I 
I like everything they did with these vehicles. They did a really good job with all this type of stuff. Would be nice uh, on here if we can go ahead and have a like I uh, have a working scorpion and all that type of stuff, which I feel like we'd be able to. See, the camera on here, I feel like needs to be higher up. Wonder if I go like that. Bad thing is, is getting out of this tank is apparently uh, means you get stuck inside the tank. <laughs> uh, yikes. Yikes. All right, let's go ahead and how about we do instead of advanced tank, let's do a basic tank. Let's see, what, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so this doesn't have any any noise, no nothing. Well, I like the advanced tank. It has the noise with it. Which I know you can put the noise on it yourself, but still. Good to know though with all that type of stuff. Yeah, and I believe, let's go ahead and look on here. I believe you can with the uh, advanced, let's take out the advanced tank and let's go to the truck here. Hey, okay, wheels. I want to say that you Tire worn. I want to say that you can do. There's urban tire three. There's different tires here. There's a large tire, a large worn tire. There's tire worn. There's tire worn small. Um. Uh, can I really have this big boy tire <laughs> on here? Uh, how do I snap? I haven't done this in a while, so. Oh my gosh. Can you actually have this whole thing? I, I want I think you can I don't know how to switch it out though I'm new at this okay, you got to go here oh my gosh I could just do that oh fantastic What is the small one? <laughs> uh, amazing. Uh, resize it. It actually doesn't look that bad having it like that, but no, we're not doing that. We're going to go big boy tires here. Um, tire worn large. Will that interrupt there or will it actually go through that?
I don't know if that will actually go through, but I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if it'll actually mess up. We're about to find out. This is good fun. Hey, this is what you do. You just, you know, you just mess around until you figure things out on your own, you know, and you're good once you do. I'm not sure if this will even work, but you know, there's only one way to find out if this will work. Oh my gosh, it does go through. Awesome. Of course, you can adjust all that how you want. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love the tires. And a big boy tires onto this. Ow. Oh, damage effect. Oh, cool. I am. I'm, I'm going to totally 100% convert this into a warthog on my own time. I, I may not do it on, on stream, but we're making a warthog. Okay, tank. And then we got to convert that tank into a scorpion also. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. We got big boy tires now. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, that was an interesting landing. Awesome. And I believe you can even adjust the car's like sensitivity of different stuff. Turn radius. Yeah, look at that. Like turn radius, acceleration, max speed, the mass, the brake strength, the center of mass. So you can control where the actual center of mass of this is. Gravity scale. Front left wheel, uh, the radius of the front left wheels collision. Really? So the radius of the front left wheels collision. Okay, is that the yellow right there? Oh, okay, because that's why the wheels were kind of in. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Eighty, ninety. Nice. 85. 
Okay, the Y, the Z. So that's a uh, negative 97. Hey, how's it going, Arpot, dude? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I blew up Twitter this morning. <laughs> uh, don't blame me. Blame yourself, Arpod. Okay? Blame yourself. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Chaco was up on the counter, so I had to go get Chaco down. But we are here working on the wheels on here. We're making ourselves a vehicle. Hmm. Collision is actually pretty good on this side. Why was this one so off? Why, why was this one so off? Why did negative 105? Why was this one off? Like it's it's kind of far forward. And look, this one isn't quite as far over. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's pretty good there. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Oh, you know it. But no, this is pretty cool. It's a new deal in core where they're, they like brought in vehicles and you can actually change each as, aspect to everything. And the vehicles actually turn and stuff. You have them all on the deal. So right here, I'm converting this truck. I put on larger tires. Now they do cut into the fenders and stuff like that, but I'm not necessarily worried about that right now. I'm going to try to make this truck into a warthog um, eventually. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm kind of wanting to do. So right now I'm messing with the, um, uh, like I'm messing with the collision for the tires. Make your new Bronco actually you probably could pretty easily, but see now the collision originally the tires were like actually in the ground. Like here, I'll show you real quick. If I go to it, um, advanced car. If I go ahead and do this and put the collision of this tire, put it uh, 40 for that one. See how it's like real small right there? Uh, like see how that circle, this yellow circle is real small. It just basically goes around the rim. So that means if you notice the collision for the tire now is wherever I put that at. So yeah. But let's go ahead and change that back to 85 so it'll be the correct size. See, but they actually made this now where it's a lot easier to do. Originally, you had to code all this type of stuff. That's why there weren't really any vehicles in core, at least not like any really good ones and stuff, um, at least for the most part. Um, but now they made it a lot easier for people to just be able to have vehicles and then they turn the wheels turn and stuff as it should. You can adjust the friction and stuff if you want, um, on the vehicles. Uh, so you can adjust all that if you want.
you can adjust how much it like how how much grip it has uh the gravity like type of stuff you know just the weight of the vehicle just you can change a lot of the different stuff oh Apparently it's front wheel drive. Can I get rear wheel drive over here? Okay. Can I get re rear? Yeah. This black goat. Yeah, this is the thing that I was making on here. I was messing around doing that. So, and look, I even have a halo ring. You know on here where it, you can kind of see it it's ever so slight um but see it up there like you could see it right here i even put a halo ring on and you could kind of see it as you get you know you're not supposed to see this little part right here that looks all weird um on there but you could kind of see it ever so slight come down here like this and then if you look on the other side um, it goes down. Oh, there's clouds in the way though, but you know, it's on there. So ever so slight halo ring, you know, just enough to where you see it off in the distance. Technically it's a giant piece that I just giant ring piece going off into the distance. You know, that's all it is, uh, on there. So yeah, this is me just making a little blood gulch type of thing and of course i have a whole bunch of grass all over the place because it just looks visually better with the grass i like it okay so let's keep checking into this advanced car thing um because i don't necessarily understand a lot of this stuff i'm just trying to figure out everything here uh the suspension client here like, look at this. It has a little suspension client on here. Oh my gosh. It's like everything's awesome. Like, this is so cool. The frame. Urban French. The crossbars. Like, this is all the frame and everything for it. Uh, suspension here. Front axle. Like, this is just so cool. See, there's so much stuff though that's here. Grenade canister, you gotta be kidding me. Like all this type of stuff is crazy. What is this right here? The military tank, oh, for an antenna. Urban for a bumper. You wish my face looked visually better? Oh, I appreciate that. Here, I'll do this for you. <laughs> uh fog lights fog lights are nice see everything like this the hood all that type stuff you you can adjust you can of course build your own exact things um which i'm still trying to learn everything of course i can override this and make it a different color if i wanted to uh, make it into more of a, where's a warthog green? Where's, where's my warthog? <laughs> our pot isn't very nice. Our pot isn't very, never, our pot is never nice to me, ever. I, all I ever do is praise our pod. I, I always give our pod uplifting comments. Never have I once was mean to our pod ever not even once ever never once and our pod just still just you know is mean to me constantly you know what i want to do let's go ahead and pull up over here let's put up some alo 
Alo. Alo. I know, exactly. I never lie. I'm never once mean to you. Like, I'm always a nice person to you, Arpod. Always. Okay. Alo infinite. Which really, it's more of a dull. Uh, looking at the Halo Infinite one, it's more of like a dull green. Like, it's not super green. What if we do something like that? Okay. Oh, dang it. I should have probably saved that color or something. Should have probably saved that color. Can I drag and drop colors here to save? Can I save? Uh, new. New. No, no. Delete. Um, do I drag and drop colors? Do that. Save. New theme. Rename. Ha! There. Okay, we're good now. We're good now. Warthog theme. It's not doing it. How do I do this? Oh, do I just click on it? There. Yes! Oh, what? Never features your maps. Says I can't forge. Makes fun of your warthog driving. Do I need to go? I never feature your maps. I don't want to hear it, Arpod, about that. <laughs> uh, you're one of my most featured, probably, person. I know this isn't exactly a warthog, but what we're doing is right now, I'm just at least converting all of this over into the color, and then we will adjust it from there. Mm-hmm. All right, so now that we've done with the body, we got to get the, uh... Oh, is the body not done? Oh, that's in the body. Okay, urban vehicle truck tail. It's just that. All right, running boards. Anything red. Anything red, we have to... Hey, where's the door? Oh, driver's side door. Right in front of my face. That's where it is. I don't know what that one is, but we're going to go ahead and pop that there. You have to go back to work now? Oh, pff, I see how it is, Arpod. You decide to work over watching my pointless streams. I see. I see how it is. It's okay. It's okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna be friends either. Don't worry about it. No, but our pod, I do plan on probably making um uh your your Bronco, yeah, on here. Cause that one I think would be a lot easier. Cause Warthog is very sci-fi type. The Bronco is a typical vehicle that I feel like I can I can easily you know make. Especially since it's very boxy. The Warthog has a lot of extra little bits, like especially the infinite one, has a lot of little extra little bits coming out of the um, the uh, hood and stuff like that. A lot of angles, like especially right here, that we're gonna have to mess with. Um, but you know, right now I'm just wanting to color all the warthog stuff. You know, just make a, a truck hog. 
what about top bar suspension accessories? What about the bumper? Bumper, bumper, bumper. Axles, driver's side doors, top bar, pipe. Accessories. Hmm. Boop. Boop. Hey, I made a, uh, there you go. I made kind of of a warthog, not really, but hey, I'll take it for right now until I can, uh, do more stuff with it. That's a big wheeled warthog though. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculously huge, these wheels. Okay, so we get, we do have to adjust the wheels here. We got to fit it to more of the Warthog's wheels, which are smaller. Unfortunately, they aren't as huge as what these are <laughs> on here. Which in real life, though, actually compared to... That's compared to Spartan. In real life, the Warthog's wheels are pretty large compared to an actual human. Uh, compared to Spartan, they're, of course, much smaller. Um, they're more like this compared to a Spartan, but to compare to human, that's why whenever you look at the, uh, like real life warthogs, the tires are huge, um, because of the fact of that exact reason. Hmm. I don't like how that is there. You know, like that, the, the rim right here. What I might have to do is shrink the rim also. Uh, just kind of like shrink both things there. Because the problem is the rim is also a little bit too big. Um, and I am don't want to go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't realize I had the gr rim grabbed. Oh, it doesn't do it, uh... Do I have to, like, group it? On here? Hmm. I wonder if there's different rims. Like, it says rim one. I'm curious. Uh, do you have a rim that kind of more fits a warthog here? This rim actually right there is a little bit closer. I might. Boom, go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's a little bit closer to an actual warthog rim. There. All right, here we go. It needs to be the this color needs to be a little bit off a little on there. Okay, car windshield.
Urban car windshield. That's just that. Which I wonder if I can make a glass. Or I wonder if I could distort it. I just want to see what it looks like, what I can do here with this, with distorting it. Because the Warthog is very unique looking. It actually is the opposite. It goes like this, but it actually... goes let's go ahead and rotate on a angle there actually the opposite Not uh, the problem is that it looks kind of off on there with that. I guess I could always just do a normal windshield here and just, or just maybe I can, I don't know. It, it seriously looks like a windshield of to get in the back. hungry well we're not gonna eat right now you gotta wait till lunch okay I'm just sitting here trying to learn all this type of stuff right now um let's see here does this say size wise what is this mass angular where is this Downscale, angular motion blur. That's interesting. Hey Dylan, stop messing with that, please. The scale on here is the 1.1, 1.3, 1.1 on there. So if I decide to scale that down, to 0.843 Can I scale it evenly though? Can I do all this evenly? I don't know. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, so this one's scaled down to 0 0.67, 0 0.67, 0 0.67. How about we just go to 0 0.6? Point six. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and test that to see now that is now of course i need to adjust everything else on there but uh you know so 0.739 This is all point six. Oh my gosh. Point six. All right, point seven three point nine, 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 point seven three. That a negative nine point seven three point nine. Okay, negative six, negative one eighty. Negative six one eighty. Uh oh. Didn't even see that. Negative twenty nine. The twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. Just getting that set up right. Um, now what we're going to need to be doing is getting this stuff down to where it actually fits so it's not going to be hovering over. 
uh, width wise and everything. So front right, uh, front left wheel. Let's go ahead and do this one first. Do a 60. I say that's about right. Um, how about we drop this to 50? Uh, but the problem is it needs to, the width might be right. It needs to go over though some. Hold on. Okay. 102. All right, I think we're good. There. Awesome. So 60. So do 60 and 50 on all these. Don't know. I think a lot of these are what okay, okay. The back, what is it? The back uh left wheels collision here. Front tires look larger than the back tires. Is that just me? disappeared <laughs> uh oops probably because of my settings on there okay not bad though not bad See, the thing is, Core has added so much stuff in here. I wonder if they added any other things like, uh, any more trees? Yeah, they added some of these trees in here. Like, uh, look at these. You can have some nice, beautiful, you know, pink trees in there. Like, there's a, a bear version of it, which is always nice. I wish that they would have just a different variety of stuff. Color override. Do that. Leaves. Color did not override the leaves. Hmm.
Barbed wire. Felt like all types of stuff. <laughs> uh, jungle vines. Whoa. That is crazy looking. Oh my. I guess it's just really cool that you can like mess with all this type of stuff, even though I'm not, I know I'm not doing it right, but cancel. I wonder why the color override didn't work on here or does it not? Or does it not work? It doesn't seem like it overrides all of them. They still have like kind of a, a pinkish outer edge there. I guess maybe you gotta come in here and adjust all the colors this way. Let me see. That's what you have to do. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got it. Figured it out on how to do that type of stuff. Excellent. You can make some crazy looking stuff with that. Will that work with grass though? Because I know uh, like the grass is the same type of thing that I, I would love to be able to change the color of grass. It doesn't seem like that that works with this. Uh, what about just placing just a, a single patch of grass like myself? So if I adjust the grass to here myself, I should be able to color grass whichever color I want. Yep. Because I remember I asked for this too. Because I remember it... I asked for that also on having uh, different color stuff. That is awesome. But you have to place each and every little piece of grass out for this. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be troublesome uh, for other stuff. But okay, everyone, I got to get going. This is fantastic. I love the vehicle thing. I need to start working on this Warthog, trying to get it to actually look like a Warthog and not just a truck. Uh, but thank you everyone for coming out. I appreciate it. I will be streaming again this afternoon, um, except it will be uh, Lynn's Island, which is a game that hasn't released yet. It is an awesome game, but I will be definitely coming back to court. Keep working on this uh, Warthog because I want to make, you know, stuff like that for with everything. So thank you again for coming out. I'll see you all next time.